Hey everyone, hope you're doing well and welcome back to the channel. It's um, It's been a month since uh, my last upload and it has been a, a month of rest and relaxation. Um, a bit of work thrown in, but mo mostly rest and relaxation. Uh, well needed, I was getting a, a bit burnt out before then with work and streaming and gaming and family life stuff and all that fun thing. So I thought, you know what, time to take a break and it has been a break uh well timed actually because uh just as i began that sort of mini siesta my main computer monitor decided to crap itself and die um it, it has finally arrived back from asus because it was repaired under warranty unfortunately it arrived this morning and they sent it back without the stand so i can't really use it yet so i'm still using my dinky spare uh, monitor at the moment until the, until the big until the big one's ready to go, but that isn't going to affect the gameplay or any of the recording. So so that's 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 a that's a non-issue. Um, so for today's video, we're going to be flying out the P thirty eight G one Lightning. I put up a poll on YouTube about forty eight hours ago, and I think the choice was between this, uh, the Bowfighter Mark ten, and the early RE two thousand and something yeah the re2002 early and um the lightning won by a fairly decent margin so what we'll do is we'll um take it out into a couple of enduring confrontation games and hopefully uh, have some fun with it so uh let's get out there all right so we're in port moresby um it is a player created battle but it is um allies versus axis not some weird mixed bag thing there is a bit of a fight going on uh, above the lagoon over there. I think there is a capture point there. Yeah, there's an F point uh, beyond the lagoon. So what we'll do, we'll um, do what the lightning does best. Uh, climb for a while and find some targets to engage. Because the lightning absolutely excels at altitude. And it excels in diving down and getting wonderful deflection shots. Because... All of the guns are mounted in the nose, so you don't need to worry about dispersion or anything like that. You just got to figure out where to lead and then pull the trigger and bam, whatever is in front of you will die. A lot of tracers down there. There's uh, ships returning fire on aircraft. There's aircraft attacking aircraft. There's ships firing on ships. Oh yes, it's a target rich environment down there. Now we are climbing quite well, but there are still some targets that are further above us that I don't really want to get too close quite yet until we know that we're at the top. There is something way back in the distance, but I think that's a surveillance aircraft. Yes, it is. Yeah, Echo, th Echo 3, there's a surveillance aircraft. Moving away. Oh, we do have some traces just over there as well, though. Oh, there is a hostile. There is a hostile right here. Our ship is firing on it. Still under fire. I throttle back so that we don't overspeed on this dive. Isn't the best angle of attack. Oh, we shots fell a little bit short. Got a couple of things here tailing a, a friendly bomber. Yeah, it's tailing a B-25. There, one of the other ones just broke off. Oh, that wasn't a particularly good set of shots that we got there. They were fairly good, but clearly I am rusty after my one month break. Alright, we're going to need to pull away from that because uh, we're going to expose ourselves to attack from the rear now. Oh, we got him! 109G, okay, fair enough. I I didn't think we did that much damage to him, but apparently apparently we did. I'll I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, let's uh let's find another target then. Alright, we're gonna throttle throttle down. Oh god, B25, you're not leading me in for a good Oh no, he got him. Yep, that guy's on fire. We'll uh we'll climb out of there. Okay, we just saw a bunch of tracer fire over to our three o'clock. I think we'll head over and investigate that. Although whatever there was, whatever was happening there has gone quiet. I think it was actually a enemy ship shooting down uh, a friendly. I didn't didn't see the kill feed in time. I was too busy checking out something. 
Oh no, there is something down there. Okay, uh, we'll circle around. I think it's attracting attracting the fire of our ships. Is always a good way to tell if it's an enemy if your if your own ships are firing on it. Usually, that would indicate a hostile presence. Jesus. Okay, I'm blind. BF110, I'm about to probably absolutely get my ass kicked because it's been a long time since I've done a proper dogfight in this thing, but we'll find out soon enough. Oh, we got a friendly Spitfire on him. Okay, gotta watch those tail gunners though. Tickled him, but nothing. Nothing massive. Gotta watch our speed. This thing will bleed speed if you're not careful. Alright, yep, yeah, we gotta we gotta stay level for a minute here. Ah, uh, the 110 had the same idea. Got some hits on his engine. Oh, Spitfire got some hits. Oh, he's dead. He think he got pilot sniped. Thank you, Dad Liver, for saving my butt. And he said, "Make me a star, baby." So there you go. You're getting in the video for that. <laughs> okay, one is firing red tracers, which. By power of deduction would usually indicate that the other aircraft here is hostile, which it is. Oh god, no, I'm not turning I'm not turning in with that. Oh good lord. Okay, yep, that's um We're gonna leave those two to tangle, because we've got an enemy aircraft right here. Yeah, this is the kind of situation you, you don't want to get um caught in a P-38 is being sandwiched. Because it is nimble for a two-engine fighter, but single-engine fighters will still absolutely shit on it in terms of turn fighting performance. Oh god, please. You know what, yeah, no, we're just gonna bug out. This is too risky. See if we can get a cheeky shot on this guy on the way down. Oh, got, got something on the right wing at least, so better than nothing. We're just going to keep running because, yep, that's tracer fire right over my bloody shoulder. Jesus Christ. Yeah, don't do what I just did and run away and attack something whilst you're running away because it usually leads to death. I'm just going to have to keep burning my engine just to get back to the airfield. Okay, I've got a water leak. No fuel leak, which is good. Okay, I think that enemy fighter did break off pursuit. Yeah, I think we made it back to the safety of the airfield just in time, so we'll 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 land, uh, repair, and rearm. Whoa, there's a 110 right behind me. Wait, no, it's a TA-154. What is this? This all shit. He chased. Oh. Oh god, my engines on the process are dying. All right, gears down, flaps. God, I hope the airfield defenders. Take it out. What a what a cheeky little sod. Chase me down in a TA-154. Don't like being shot down by my own favourite aircraft. That's a bit that's a bit that's a bit harsh. Oh god, this is this is a very high angle of attack. Okay. Gentle, gentle dead. Oh god, I'm missing a landing gear. Oh that isn't. Hey, what? Apparently we got a second kill at one point. That must have been one of the um, aircraft that I damaged earlier. Okay, we've got a catcher point right in the middle of the map, so hopefully that'll attract some action. We're going to go in and start capping whilst we're still climbing. I uh, want to get to about 2,500 meters ideally, if not um, higher. There's something just below me to my 1 o'clock as well. Closing in. At a relatively decent pace. I am curious as to what this is actually now. You might just veer a bit this way just to investigate. Oh, they're converging. Yeah, there is definitely a hostile there. He just fired on a friendly. Right, we're in a really good position here to get a um, 
a shot on this guy, provided we don't screw it up royally. And we screwed it up royally, because we waited just a bit too long on that shot. Hey, he's going to turn the other way. Oh, we got two, two friendlies on him. He's he's not in good position right now. Damage of right flap and something on his engine. He's leaking. Oh, bit of G lock there. It's always difficult to tell when you're going over G because the um, the screen doesn't black out in VR like it does in the in the normal uh, mode on the screen, which is which is quite annoying. And the 110 went down. Excellent. Did we pick up an assist for that? Yes, we did. Good. Good work. I think I took something off his tail, but he seems to still be flying. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. That's going to finish him off. We are going to move away and climb and check our six. Because that's what you do after you've killed something. Always check your six, because usually all of the... Oh, God, there's aircraft right in front of me. I might have just walked into something a bit dangerous here. There's a Yak-1 engaging... There's a Yak-1 and an American engaging what appears to be a 110. I got a couple of hits on a wing. Oh, no, I've stalled out. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, Chris, you silly boy. Oh, although... That being said, we stalled out right on the 6 of the 110. Yeah, when we need to work on our accuracy. It's been a long time. Right, we need to get out of the tracer fire of that. Oh, we took a big risk doing that. We took a really big risk. I don't know if I should have done that. Yeah, now that 110 is slotting in on us. Oh, yes, yes, he is. Oh, goodness. All right, let's just stay low and fast. We are a big target. However, I think we're right near the end, uh, near the edge of his effective range of those guns. If we, we are losing speed. That isn't good. Oh, we ended up getting the kill for that 110 as well. We obviously did the most amount of damage to him, so I'll, t I'll take that. TA-154. That needs to die. Oh, I think he is going to go down. Oh god, zero right on R6. I really hope we get that TA-154, though, because that thing's dangerous. Yes, we got the 154. Excellent. All right. I, I, I'd rather not um, die now to a zero. I'm hoping those ships keep it a little bit busy. Oh, good lord. Right, there's a bunch of activity down uh, to the southeast by the F point, so... Basically, exactly where there was a huge dogfight right at the beginning of this match. So we're just going to climb above it real quick, just assess the situation. Okay, that looks like to be a hostile aircraft. Our ships are firing on it. It was a hostile aircraft. It was an A6M3. <laughs> Oh, he's gone. <laughs> that was a nice little opportunity attack, and that's a good good way to demonstrate how uh, how how well the, um, the the lightning can actually sort of turn in on a dive. It's um, it, its role in a dive is incredible. It's um, rudder is a bit iffy, but it's it's better than other American planes in a dive. Um, you've just got to be careful. The the P thirty eight P thirty eight is good in a dive, but it can also disintegrate in a dive if you do take it too fast. I, you know, it's not like the 
the Thunderbolt you can just keep diving and diving and diving and diving. The P38 you do need to ease off at one point, otherwise you will rip everything completely. It's messy. Okay, there appears to be another hostile here. The uh, our, our um, anti-aircraft guns are firing on it, and it looks like it's actually just picked up a friendly. We need to ease off the speed because we are diving down from um, quite a height. Actually, I think we we're about three thousand meters when we spotted this guy. Yeah, white tracers confirmed. This looks like a uh, one ten. Oh. Holy shit! That was a that was a that was a nice little snap wing there. God, took a bit of a risk though, because he he obviously he he saw me coming in because he switched to gunner mode, but uh, thankfully I was the quicker shot. Thank goodness. All right, that's that capture point done. We're gonna go and have a go at whatever our shipping is. Uh, shooting at, well not shipping, our fleet is shooting at really, it's not really shipping if it's completely armed to the teeth with guns. Um, what's this? Somebody that knows what they're doing. Throttling down. Is he turning? Hard to tell with this fading light. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, that was uh, that was tasty. That was real tasty. Oh, I might even have to get a cinematic replay of that particular kill. Ooh. yeah, this looks like to be a, a yeah. That's a that's an ME four ten that just took out that howitzer. Right, okay. We have the altitude advantage. We can pick and choose when we engage this guy. I want to do it when he's on his next attack run and he's distracted, which I think is going to be now. Yeah, he's lining up for something. If you've got an enemy that's attacking ground targets, try and do it when he is the most vulnerable. When he's distracted and worried about focusing on his target and his target alone. Oh god. Oh, I almost bollocks that up real bad. Now what's he going to do? Is he going to turn around and fight or is he running back? Or is he running back for help? I think he might be running back for help. No, he's going to go for a head on. I'm not going to take that bait. That was a bad shot. Yeah, I think he's losing power. He definitely can't keep up with me in the maneuvers. Oh, got damage on the right wing. We, oh, we had a fuel leak. And, oh, we got him. He went in. Oh dear, and there was a bit of friendly fire on the enemy team. 109 just killed a 190, that's a bit embarrassing. Oh god, and someone else on our team just friendly fired a B-25, killed a T-18. Bombers, stop killing your friends! Oh my god. The match is nearly over, and if we can get to 10 kills, I'll be really happy with a double ace in this. Really happy for my first game back after a month break. That that That's a real good way to, to start the um, the second half of the year, I guess, on a, on a high note, you know? Being June, halfway through the year. 2020 has not been what anyone expected, I don't think, so far. It's been a... Oh, it's been a weird old time. Yeah, we're capturing that point in a hurry, so I think... Oh yeah, they're definitely chasing something. And we capture the point, and that's GG! Yeah, well, we didn't make it to, uh, to 10 kills, but we did get 9. And we got 2 assists, and... Three takeoffs, three landings, and we made a healthy amount of uh, Silver Lions and RP, and I've just realized I don't even have this particular aircraft spaded, because I've actually been quite neglectful of the P-38s in um, in War Thunder. I, I fly them a lot in IL-2, but man, I need to fly them more in uh, <laughs> in this game anyway. Like, holy crap, uh, that, was, uh, that was a fun little match. We need to do that again.
but yeah I'm gonna wrap up the video here you know good to be back again recording I was really afraid I was gonna be uh, quite crap but we actually did okay nine kills and zero deaths I'm pretty effing proud of that um, I think I'm gonna do it more often where I put up a poll before a video and let people sort of choose what sort of aircraft that I fly in upcoming videos um, some videos I'm still gonna do what I want um, and I'm working on some tutorials at the moment <clears throat> excuse me my voice is going but um, guys, look, it's it's guys and gals. It is uh, good to be back. Um, thank you all for your continued support. Um, you know, even though I wasn't uploading for a few weeks, people are still viewing my videos. I'm still getting more subscribers, which is absolutely amazing to see. So clearly I'm doing something right, apparently. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought of the video and um, if there are any aircraft you want me to cover in the future. Until then, thank you so much uh, for watching and I will see you all next time.